Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I am heading out for the day to uh, try to get some good photos of some great booths at my favorite antique mall. And I wanted to talk about the staging um, outside versus inside. You guys know I'm pretty passionate about getting those pieces inside for staging and I just wanted to give you a little background on that so you don't think it's just my opinion. Um, my advice is usually based on information and not opinion. Um, before I start though, if you live up a set of stairs or you're all alone or you don't have room, it's okay. I'm not saying to break your back or go buy a bigger house or anything like that. If you can't do it, you can't do it. So I just want you to listen to, what I, to my reasoning and then you have to do what you are capable of doing. So here's the deal. When I tell you guys things that will help your business, it's based on facts and buyer psychology. Like you, I want you to appeal to the largest amount of the population. So when you put your piece outside, well, let me back up. So there are a lot of people in this world that cannot figure out how to accessorize a dresser. We may think it's not a big deal, like just go get some stuff and put it on there, get a picture, get a mirror, get a lamp. It's second nature to some of us, but there's a really large population that has no idea what to put on a buffet or a dresser or an end table. They just don't know. So when I'm telling you to stage it inside, I'm telling you that so that you give it a purpose, so that it's an emotional purchase. You get to their emotions. They can picture it in their house. They know just what they need to go out and get to make it look just like the picture you showed them. When you do it outside, if you say there's five buyers and you put your piece outside, one of those five buyers is not going to buy it because they can't even fathom how it would look in their house. Two, the second out of five buyers is going to focus on what's around it and you'll probably get a message asking you if it is for outdoors or what color you painted your front door or how'd you do that cool design on your concrete sidewalk. So that's two out of five. What I'm telling you to do, and it's not right and it's not wrong, it's just the best way to appeal to the masses, is to take it in, put it in a spot on a blank wall and give it a purpose. Give it a direction, make it look good, make them feel like if I buy that, all I have to do is go get a mirror and a lamp and it's gonna look just like that in my house, okay? So that's where I'm coming from. For proof, all you need to do is go to some major furniture catalogs, restoration hardware, pottery barn, Room and Board, Crate and Barrel. I spent some time looking through their catalogs and there is no inside furniture sitting out in the yard. It's just not, it's just not how you do it. They know and they are trying to appeal to 90% of the population, not 20% of the population. They want to show people exactly how their house could look if they buy that piece of furniture. It's a, it's a achievable dream to get that piece of furniture in the house and make it look just like the picture, okay? So that's where I'm coming from when I say that. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just saying it's the best way to appeal to the most amount of people and get an emotional reaction, which increases the chances of one, selling, and two, getting the best price for your piece. So that's where I'm coming from. If you wanna take your pictures outside, that's fine. If that's your thing, if that's your brand image, then go for it. If you've been painting furniture for 10 years and you have a following and you could put it in a muddy river and somebody would buy it, then you do what you do. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people who are starting from scratch and trying to figure out why they're not selling their pieces. Why was Mary not selling her little end tables and people were emailing her and asking her if they were for outdoor use, right? Take them inside, put them where they're supposed to be used, accessorize and stage and take good photos. And the proof is in the pudding. We watched Mark do it. He did some amazing dressers, but I'll tell you what, if they were in the yard, he wouldn't have got the price he got for them. The way he staged it and pulled it all together was just top notch. So do it how you want to do it, but I would encourage you to figure out a way to get a really good floor and background going. We've had some ideas of a click laminate floor, 50 bucks for a box of it, creates a awesome looking wood floor in your garage. Um, one of our members bought a background that's like a white molding wall, which was amazing that you just hang. You can hang that in your garage. 
doesn't take much. Hey, even if you're outside up against a brick wall or a fence, it's better than just floating in the middle of your yard. It's not good. It doesn't give the buyer any perspective on dimension or scalability. It doesn't allow you to show it with wall art over it or a lamp. So that's where I'm coming from. I'm not argumentative about it. If that's what you want to do, that's what you should do. It's not my opinion. It's just factual information. And I want everyone on here to have the best fighting chance to sell their pieces quickly and for top dollar. Okay, so that's my stance on that. So if I come at you for an outside picture, it's not because I'm picking on you. It's just because I want you, when you ask me how to get top dollar, that's the answer. Okay, so you guys have a great day. I will be back tonight with some pictures of some great booth ideas if I can find any. Okay, bye guys.